Hello everyone and welcome back to Chrono's Place Persona 5 Royal. Today, we're gonna ignore that guest message and talk to Hifumi. It's hot outside, but I'm clear-headed since it's so cool in here. You have more aptitude for this than I imagined. I also sense an ambitious spirit within you. I should have taken into account your improvement throughout our lessons. I have something in mind, but let's play a match first. In fact, let's play right now. Sure? Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and play. Um. After we finish the mess, let's go to the second-hand bookstore. Okay. <laughs> that was a good match. I really do enjoy teaching you. You're such a quick learner. Today I thought we'd find something to help you train on your own. This bookstore is filled with shogi-related books. I've been coming here a lot lately. I know, I ran into you once. There's also a curry restaurant it's just around the corner. I recommend their Katsu Curry. I always, kept, I always eat Katsuo curry before an important match. For good luck! Fumi, annoyed eyed girl. Oh, almond eyed oh. girl, not. Hello, I hope your match went well today. What are you talking about? Today's our off day. My apologies, I forgot that there aren't any matches scheduled for today. Out shopping with your boyfriend? <laughs> How nice for you! I shouldn't be surprised. You are a famous shogi player, after all. Well, I would intrude. Bye! Why does it look like you're missing a lot of teeth when you talk? Like, seriously, it looks like you're missing, like, a ton of teeth. Sorry. Sorry, she was only glaring at you because you're with me. She's my senior. I defeated her in a recent title match. Uh, I don't mind. She has a bad vibe. Must have been the Katsu curry. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> you know what? Must have been the curry. Actually, yes, I did have Katsu curry before that match. The truth is, I'm not very well liked by my seniors. The more attention I get, the more enemies I make, and the more lies are spread about me. Oh. Perhaps it's odd to compare myself to them, but I wonder if it's the same for the Phantom Thieves. Yeah, probably. By probably, I mean definitely. People are so divided about them on the internet. Some love them, while others hate them. Can't help but see similarities between us. What do you think about them? Um, they're cool. I feel the same way, actually. You, you want to meet their leader? It's amazing that they're still doing what they do, even though so many people criticize them. They give me courage. But their victories can't be won with will alone. How do they change a person's heart? I'm interested from a tactical standpoint. Oh, uh, and, oh, I'm sorry. We're really are quite off topic. I feel like I've become more talkative of late. I usually don't talk this much. You're more than just someone I can practice moves with. You're someone I can confide in. I look forward to um, it. if you don't mind this sort of thing, I'd like to go out and chat with you again. Whoa. Friendship established. All right. Oh yes, there's a book that I'd love for you to read. Let's go. Oh, more books. Until next can I get it on audio so I can listen to it while I'm driving? That's actually something I do kind of miss. I used to go through a, a fair amount of, like, audiobooks. Um, I used to re-listen to a lot of audiobooks, too, that I, uh... Cause I don't really get into that many books, obviously. So I'd, I re-listen to some series, but when I used to work in an office, I'd have, like, a 40-minute drive to work every morning, just throw that in, and just listen to that as I go and to and from work. It was a, a good... good way to spend a few hours in traffic sometimes. Hello, thank you for coming me today. My intention was to show you how great Jinboku is, Jinbokcho, maybe is. I ended up just talking about myself. My apologies. I was shocked though. Ordinarily, I don't talk that much. I assure you. Perhaps it's because I never had friends at school who I could talk to about shogi. I hope this won't discourage you from spending time with me. Really, I would be delighted to do this again. You know what? Ooh, well, I don't know. I was gonna say, I'd love to, but where shall we go next is also a good one, yeah? Where shall we go next? What? Well, let's see. I give up. There's just too many places I'd like to visit. I can't narrow it down to one. Other than used books in Katsu Kuri, there are many things I there are many things I'd like to recommend in that city. If you have a chance, perhaps we can explore more of the city next time. Well, I'm afraid I must go. I'll see you at church. <laughs> All right. That's a... Uh, I don't know. It just seems weird. <laughs> Are we going to the Velvet Room? I like the Velvet Room. I gotta work on that strength confidant soon. 
Well, mid mid mementos, I think we're gonna work on it. Our master would like a word with you. Yeah, I figured. Stand up straight and listen closely. I can't stand up straight. It seems you freed the heart of a frenzied girl and saved her from her haunted past. <laughs> Another step has been taken to rehabilitation. You are progressing quite nicely. Thanks. Our master bestows words of praise upon you. You'd better feel honored. I don't. By the by, more curious information has found its way to your ears. A scientist's research. It seems that world may secretly be known after all. Furthermore, that very research has been stolen and is now used by those with malicious intent. Thanks for the confirmation. I wonder how this will change the approach you take toward your rehabilitation. Oh shit, lottery. I can go check the lottery, don't I? Oh, did I miss that? I might have missed that. Uh, hopefully I can still do it. Uh, who stole the research? <laughs> Allow me to grant you a new power. That is not what I asked. Of your current self. Though you have my aid, be sure not to let your guard down. Otherwise, you may get swept off your feet. Impossible. What do we get? We get nothing! You lied to me! Oh, let me bestow upon you a new power of absolutely nothing, you fool. It's just a rank increase. All right. We shall meet again in the near future. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna come in here and like Time to go, fuse some stuff eventually. Shit. Hopefully I can still do Oh man. I can reload a save if need be. Cause I saved right before Fumi, so I can go check that out. Oh, we're at sixty percent. What, couldn't get nine more? Hopefully we can still check the lottery. It doesn't have to be on the day. Makoto and Yusuke are scheduled for today, huh? I haven't seen them. What happened to them? Butapa, can you open up? Open what? The front door. Why? When you come to, Alex, we're in front of a Futaba's house. You want to meet here and not LeBlanc's? Isn't that more comforting? You, you, you never mentioned this. It would be nice if you could hurry down. It's scorching hot outside. You demon! Um... It looks like we're meeting up immediately over at Futaba's. Makoto's really going about this seriously. <laughs> what is that supposed to be? Fantastic! That's what it's supposed to be. Don't worry about it. Such avant-garde design. You have excellent taste. Of course, Yusuke would like this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get started, shall we? What do you plan on doing? I'd like to simply have a normal conversation. That is the basis of true communication, after all. Yeah, you haven't really been paying attention to the group, have you? Uh, you seem confident. Yes, you must be well versed in speaking when you are student council president. Don't think too hard about our conversation. We're just going to talk about ordinary topics today. And what do you mean by ordinary topics? Yeah, you see, Yusuke doesn't even know what ordinary is. You know, things like food or the weather. Well then, I mean small talk. With food. We're gonna make small what talk. Do you like to eat, Futaba? Organic ones. Organic, okay. Um, that wasn't exactly what I meant. And actually, what do you mean by that? Uh, let's try a different topic. How about the weather? I heard that this heat wave is showing no sign of stopping. How did you become a student council president? Dunno, I haven't been out. You were out yesterday, Fatabi, don't lie. Oh, right. Makoto's getting overwhelmed. Yeah, she's like completely out of her element. It, this is odd. It, it wasn't supposed to go like this. By the way, Yusuke, 
What have you been doing this whole time? Oh, superb. <laughs> Some of their heads came off when I was moving them, but I made sure to rearrange them pleasingly. My children! What have you done to my children? Futaba, you're too young for children. They appear to be quite shoddily made. They're from Phoenix Rangers Neo Featherman! No! Yellow and pink's heads! And red's been hacked to bits! This is all Inari's fault! Inari? You know! Inari Sushi? The tofu things foxes eat in the old stories? What kind of fox doesn't know that? I don't know. I didn't... I didn't even know that. I knew you called him Nari at some point. I didn't know it was that, though. Inari. Oh, they were in the perfect poses, too. It was so much work getting them set up just right. Uh, you wouldn't know aesthetics if it hit you in the face, Inari. Uh, how dare you say that to me? <laughs> of all people. Sheesh, that's not a conversation anymore. It's a full-blown argument. Well, okay, Yusuke started it. Yeah. I see. So their versatility allows you to recreate almost any dramatic scene you can imagine. Mm-hmm. Victory is great for action, and Neo's got the best transforming suit. So cool. Fascinating. Art depicts a flash of inspiration. But models offer a much different means of enjoyment. Huh? Take a look at that. Futaba's having a regular conversation. Yeah, let's let's put regular in quotes there, please. It seems she doesn't have a problem talking to others as long as the subject interests her. Well, I mean, yeah? I suppose the topics I brought up were not the right ones. They were very boring, yes. So this is all I gotta do? What a breeze! In that case, we should advance to the next step. How about we have her spend time in someone else's room? Yes. She hasn't had many chances to leave the house yet, so that would be the perfect opportunity. Don't set the bar so high! It's not that high. You were in my room yesterday. We'll be there, too. Well, I guess in that case... I've left tomorrow to An and Ryuji. He'll be there as well, so... You'll be okay. Can I wear my mask? Absolutely. I think it would be best if you didn't. There's really no telling how tomorrow's going to go. I right, probably as good as today. You can only hope, anyways. Today actually went fine. <sighs> Not bad for her first time. She still's got a long way to go, though. I wonder how long she's ready. How long before she's ready for the beach? Uh, I don't know, forever? Dude, people are pumped. They're talking about all the, about, all about how the fan of these took down Metshed. Mishima's website is, has a shit ton of comments flooding, too. The news coverage has been pretty insane as well. Yes, they have all spoken of the fan of these for entirety of today. We've been getting attention all over the city. So, how's the one who helped us take Metshed down doing? Putabachan! My Phoenix Ranger almost met the demise. <laughs> Question marks? Uh, it was Yusuke as well. Don't complicate things further. Anyways, things don't go perfectly. Things didn't go perfectly, but it's definitely in a step in the right direction. Tomorrow's goal will be to spend time in someone else's room. Futaba is a difficult personality to handle. Good luck to you two. Shut up, Inari. All right, it's our turn next. See you tomorrow, Futaba. We'll have so much to talk about. Oh, I can't wait. Lady On and Ryuji teaming up honestly worries me. But I guess we'll see what they can do. I mean, it doesn't worry me at all, really. Those two were like middle school friends that reconnected in high school. They actually hang out and are perfectly fine friends. Nice. It's healthy. Who's I aming me? It is the shops open? Too bad that I'm not. She's not there. Oh yeah. So Jero wants to level up, does he? Mm-hmm. I see. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. I remember. I remember. We are going to Station Square, and we're gonna go see if our lottery ticket has a number. 
Give me the lottery. Congratulations! You've won 30,000 yen. Okay, that's not bad. It's pretty good. Nice going. Oh, you get it. I can't I can give you advice on what to use it for. Welcome. Yeah, me too, actually. Uh yeah, there you go. Buy another one of these. The 30th. Seven days. Okay. I mean 30,000 is pretty good, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, I was like, is it Sunday? Why are you here? Um, so yeah. So Sajiro. You can hang out with Sajiro. You're rank four or three. I think you're four, right? What would you like? I would like. I guess all of this stuff, please. That's how I use my lottery winnings. I know, right? It's very wasteful. I thought you guys were kissing. I say no public displays of romance, please. We gotta like talk to all these guys, right? Hey, can you get the hell out of the store? Anyone else? No. Good. Hey, Sajiro, dog. Can you like, I don't know, hang out with me? All right then. Thanks. Futaba's coming to eat today too. Uh, I'll get the curry ready. I'm leaving the coffee to you. Hmm. Oh, I'm wicked full. How's the curry, Futaba? Delicious! I'm gonna be dreaming that stuff tonight. Huh, did it taste the same as you remember it? Yep, I feel like a dummy for not waiting, wanting to eat it back when I was depressed about Mom. Oh, that's right. Oh yeah, the first episode of this brand new anime I want to watch is airing tonight. I'm out of here. Eyes in front of you when you're walking, okay? No spacing out. You ran headfirst into a pole last time you went for a walk. Well, you, well, you stubbed your toe on the dresser the other day. Ah, crap! It's gonna start. Make it like a leaf and, uh, uh, screw it. Bye! <laughs> she thought it was delicious. And what about you? That's nothing bad. It wasn't bad, nothing special. I think I'm addicted! Really? I guess you have pretty good taste if you can understand how incredible that curry is. Now then, there's something I should probably tell you. Here, take a seat. I'll pour you some coffee. Yeah. Remember how I said the recipe for this card was developed by a scientific genius? Shh, you might have realized by now, but that genius was Futaba's mother, Wakaba. Uh, in other words, the curry is one of the last remaining connections Futaba has to her mom. I met Wakaba back when I was doing work for the government. She was a, she was a real trouble, let me tell you. Logic prevailed over emotion for her, and she had an intricate knowledge of the human mind. I thought my pickup lines were the best in town, but not a single one worked on her. Uh, was she like Futaba? She wasn't normal, huh? Uh, so that's why you're a bachelor. Uh, was she like Futaba? You could say that. It was clear, it was never clear that she was, what she was thinking, so I had a hard time trying to keep up with her. Men are deeds, though. We spend our time chasing after things we can't get. Wakaba rejected me time and time again. But there was one instance I managed to surprise her. And that was when I gave her a plate of my homemade curry. The very next day, she, asked, uh, she came asking about all the ingredients and what goes into the cooking process. Then, just a few days later, she handed me a scientifically enhanced version of my recipe. It was incredible. She had used my curry as the basis, but it was miles better than anything I've made. Curry was Wakaba's specialty from then on. Naturally, Futaba grew to love it in no time as well. But then, after Wakaba's accident, Futaba stopped eating it entirely. The flavor wouldn't make her remember all the pain. I've heard even smells can bring back memories, too. But the curry was the only point of connection I had with Futaba. That's why when I took her in, I vowed to keep this recipe alive until she could eat it again. Um... Yeah... It really paid off in the end, then. Yeah, it felt like a huge weight I uh, was lifted off my shoulders when she said it was delicious. The whole idea of pairing the curry with a knife brew is thanks to Wakaba's refinement too. Despite how introverted she seemed, she was extraordinarily perceptive of, of the people around her. I even I never even told her about my love for coffee. She figured it out just from looking at me. Probably all the shakes, dog. 
That's when I realized she was totally out of my league. Not like I really stood a chance to begin with, though. She already had Futaba by then, after all. So this might seem like an old curry, uh, like any old curry to most people, but there's tons of emotion crammed inside. So, uh, make sure you keep that tradition going. Right. Nothing for rank 5. Okay. That's kind of sad. <laughs> All right, that's enough for this uh, this for tonight. Things are getting downright sappy in here. Futaba's waiting for me at home too. No, she's not. She's watching anime dog, so I should probably be heading home. The rest is on you. Make sure you clean up before you go to bed. No. Oh, kindness. Woo! Ah, oh, I could have got a curry boost. Not a kindness boost, not curry boost. That's different. Hey, it's me. You finished cleaning up? But I'm still watching anime. As long as I, sh as long as she's in a good mood, though, I don't mind it. Seeing her so happy makes me glad that I kept w Wakaba's um, curry alive. It's only a problem when she asks for it three times a day. <laughs> Sounds good to me. She needs a no, no dog. She needs a balanced diet. That's exactly my problem. The top is still growing. I gotta be strict with her. She needs to eat balanced meals so she get vitamins that curry can't give her. Ah oh, man, the expression on Futaba's face when she took the bite of that curry. Ah, forget it. Maybe I'll have to stick to stick with the curry as the staple. Then I can sneak in some veggies here and there. Ah, I guess cooking really can be a labor of love. Ah, crap. I've talked too much. See you later. I guess. I mean, I guess you could slip in some, like, multivitamins or something. And then again, those can sometimes not be that very effective. Hmm. You seem surprisingly calm. I thought you'd be more panicked. There are no customers. Yo! We're here! <laughs> ah, you guys brought a lot of stuff. Sorry we're late. We were out buying stuff, and I got a little caught up in what to get. So many snacks. What exactly do you plan on doing? Also, where'd you get the money for this? Well, so well I mean, you have a modeling job. Ryuji, did you chip in at all for this? Yeah, and eating snacks is the best part of that. You're gonna get fat, you know. <laughs> Shut it! <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. You can't eat that many snacks. Like, and expect things not to go awry. You might have a good metabolism now, but trust me, it catches up to you. And out of nowhere. Hey, where's Futaba? Then you get to watch what you eat for the rest of your life. You have done well in coming here. <laughs> Shit freaked me out. Oh, hey, you Futaba? Yep, welcome. Why are you wearing that? It's fashionable. Habit. Habit. Anyway, bring it. Not sure I get it, but let's do this. Sheesh. Looks like today is going to be another noisy day. For real, it was freaking amazing. There were girls all over me. So, was this a dream? Wait. You don't believe a word I'm saying, do you? Oh, absolutely not. Uh, it's you we're talking about here. There's no way you were ever a chick <laughs> What was that? Agreed. As a member of the opposite sex, I sense no charm from you, Ryuji. Plus, popular guys wouldn't go bragging about that stuff to other people. Cut to Alex on top of the mount mountain screaming Max charms that. I keep wondering if I should do it while I'm still young. But the dresses show a lot of skin, right? What dresses are we talking about? Hey, are you even listening? There's no point talking about wedding dresses. Wedding right dresses? Now. None of us have significant others. What? Yep, I'm not getting married anytime soon. Yeah, you're like 14. Can we please talk about something else? You know? Futaba's fine having conversations. Yeah, she doesn't have any trouble speaking her mind. Seems totally normal to me. Nothing is normal about anyone here. I don't know what normal is, but if this is it, I'm happy. I totally thought you were going to be some weirdo, but <laughs> I guess all that worrying was for nothing. Mm-hmm. I'm relieved, too. I think things should keep going smoothly at this rate. By the way, 
What's on the agenda for tomorrow? Hopefully hanging out with Yusuke so I can max him out. How about we have her try helping around the cafe? Or you know that. That's perfect! It'll be good practice to have her up in front of strangers. Beep! Nope, nope, nope! Showing up in the shop at lunchtime will be like super crushing hard mode! You don't have to deal with customers if you don't want to. Maybe you could dry plates in the back. Yeah, it's not that hard. I mean, it is unpaid labor, so I understand you not wanting to do it. Um, won't you help me? I'll be there too. No push yourself. Uh, won't you help me? Oh, okay. Yeah. Then it's all set. We'll be rooting for you, Futaba. Uh, <laughs> you're all gonna pay for this. Someday. Yeah, probably. All right, so I'm assuming we have a night. Did the fantasy start with these skin? No, no, absolutely not. Something about foreigners, sure. Our popularity is through the roof. You guys gotta hear this. This cute chick says she wants to go out with a fan of the Eve. But you're not, but not you specifically, yeah? Not surprised, as a member of the office says, I sense no charm for you, Ryuji. You don't get to say it over text too. What in the world were you all doing today? Girl talk of the blondes, uh, well, more like chatting and snacking, really. So she completed her objective for the day. Next up is practice going out in front of people. Wait, what? You'll be fine, Alex will be with you the whole time. We want to ease you into it by making you work out in public instantly after like three days of you getting over your massive depression that you've had for like two years, yeah? We need to eat you into it, so your first step or your first test will be helping at LeBlanc's. Only Alex will be with you tomorrow. Good luck! Leave it to me! Thanks for the help! Hey! You better make an effort tomorrow. I mean, that's all I ever do. Like, I can leave tonight, right? Okay, good. Okay. Seems to be opening up a little. Maybe we're finally inching to our way to the beach? Nice. I mean, yeah, I guess. Do you have time today? I don't know. Are you gonna rank up? I gotta rank up, so I do have time today, so let's go. I guess we can read your text. Do you have time to play? I would like to play a match. I want to test out a new move and check out uh, check up on your surgery skills. What do you say? I say bring it on. Then I'll see you at the church. And I guess I will teleport to the church because I have that power. Uh is that that's your mom? Oh, whoops, I totally uh, clicked over that. That's the log button. My client's a big shot in the Pro Shogi Players Association, so I worked really hard to set it up. Wait, no, that's not it. That's right, your next opponent will be finally be a professional. Oh, okay, there you go. And then just, you know, pretend I said that what I said before. You know, let's just forget it. Let's just go on there. That's... But... Huh? Is this young man a fan of yours, Fumi? No, mother. He's my shogi friend. I told you about him, remember? Your shogi friend, hmm? Let me just say this. I hope you're not harboring any weird feelings for Hufumi. I don't know, give me a few ranks. <gasps> mother! I'm sure you're already aware. You're not allowed to date, young lady. You started to attract a number of new male friends with all your new f with your new photo f Oh, man. Just that sentence alone pisses me off. Yes. Yes, mother. You can get 50 guys like him once you're famous. I need to accomplish the things I was never able to because I'm a piece of shit. Now I'm going to work. Don't wait after me. I understand. Sorry. I apologize. That must have been quite a shock. Or extremely awkward, even. Um, hmm. She's scary. Accomplish things. You're not allowed to date. Um, you know what? She's scary. <laughs> That's quite honest of you. Not altogether inaccurate, though. My father is ill and unable to work, so my mother supports us. My mother used to be a local TV announcer, but she had to quit her job to take care of my father. My father was a pro shogi player. He's usually calm, and when he played, you could really feel his spirit. He never hesitated when making a move, just like a king. I really admired him, so I started playing shogi myself. But after pouring everything, into everything he, he had into shogi, he suddenly collapsed one day. In my mother's eyes, Shogi stole both her dream and my her husband. 
and yet she still tells me to keep playing. She wants me to achieve her dreams. I should be working to help support us. I want to become a professional so that I can make enough money to ease my parents' burden. Um. I do photo shoots and interviews, hoping that they'll add some money to our house, to our household income. But it's honestly, honestly quite difficult for me. Uh, you don't like the attention? You should stop then. Have you told your mother? I have a feeling her mother's not going to care. And obviously she doesn't like the attention, so you just stop. I'm happy that you're concerned about me, but when I think about my mother, I... No one sees me as a shogi player anymore. They're, they no longer recognize my skill. I'm not playing shogi in the hopes of becoming an idol. I simply love my family, and I want to support them through my, our troubles. <sighs> this isn't good. I shouldn't be focusing on, on such negative topics before a match. But then, well then, let's play. Today, I'm gonna be throwing a lot of offensive moves at you. This will teach you how to escape from disadvantageous, uh, disadvantageous situations. Whoa. It allows you to attempt to escape even when surrounded by enemies. That sounds right. useful. Are you ready? That aura, my right eye is twitching. Oh, I have high blood pressure too. Now it's time to unleash my hidden evil eye. I'll start. Now to a fair match. Woo knowledge. Until next time. Ooh, that wasn't so bad. Let's continue our lesson next time. I wonder if I could get her quest by the time we go to the Mementos. We're rank 5, right? And quests usually come at rank 7-ish. So we got a few to go. We all get two or three to go. That's not that many. If we can get affinity boost and get points as we talk to her, we should be able to do it. Oh, hello. Do you have a moment? I apologize for my mother's rude behavior earlier. She's been on edge lately. My male friends are beginning to concern her. She didn't mean to offend you at all. Yes, she did. I hope you'll accept my apology in her place. Uh, why do you have to apologize? That's true, but I don't want to cause any troubles. No worries. You have a lot to deal with. You know what? Yes. My apologies. I didn't mean to cause you any unnecessary worry. I'll be sure to talk to you to her about you. No doubt my lack of skill is what caused my mother to be so hypersensitive. I intend to prove my skills so I can become an established player and put my mother at ease. So then, let us both work hard to our, for our goal. Goodbye for now. Eh, I don't know. That's... Nah, I hate that shit. When parents force their children to do something because they want to pretty much live their dreams through their children. Today's the day we're having Futaba try and help out at the calf, right? Uh, this will be a stressful turn of events. I mean, maybe. You want me to let Futaba help out around the shop? Yeah. But I've never had her do anything like that before. Is she gonna be okay? No. Experience is important. I'll be there with her. She requested this. I'll be there with her. This isn't the same as taking care of a cat. Are you sure? D don't worry. I did graduate middle school last year. Oh, you are in high school. I'll be fine if I just think of this as my first summer job of high school. Well, in that case, uh, how about you wash the dishes? Just don't push yourself too hard, okay? I like her fanny pack. <laughs> Did you break? Hey, are you all right? Oh, okay. You ask if she's all right, but if I break something, I'm gonna throw you out on the street. The usual, boss. Extra strong. It's your thing. Keep an eye on Futaba for me. Sure. Uh, you okay? Wee wee. <laughs> you gotta go to the bathroom? She a new part-timer. Man, smooth as always. What number Bond girl is this, oh, Bond? Jesus Christ. It's not like that. You usually go for the older ones, right? It's only natural if you'd want someone younger sometimes. Alright, get the bat! It's like the Guatemala Peaberry coffee. It's acidic sweetness is akin to a breath of fresh air. And you know what that means. Sorry, we're serving a blend today. Hey, snap out of it. Hurry up and bring him the coffee before it gets cold. I'm gonna dump it on his lap. <gasps> now, here's your coffee. 
What in the world did she... Hey, Futaba, haven't I told you not to show up in front of people with that damn thing on? And... And be more polite when you're bringing something to a customer. He was being rude. Or pompous. Hey, here is your coffee, sir. Oh, thanks. Did you see? I did my job right. Well, kind of. Good job. You did great. <laughs> huh. Turns out this is pretty easy. <laughs> to think Futaba would go out and talk to a customer herself. Mask aside, I'm impressed. Looks like people really can change. If they want, yes. Want me to bring coffee to more customers? N mask off first. Oh, I'll think about it. <laughs> Did anyone here, uh, anyone here share information about our real identities? Like, hell we do that. Yeah, Ryuji just usually screams it out on subways. What's... Why the question? I've heard someone in the city saying they are acquaintance. Talk about false rumors. But hey, at least we're famous enough to have rumors about us. We might even break into the news online or maybe TV. Uh, yeah, if we get caught. Well, yeah. By the way, how did today go? I served coffee to customers. She did good. That's great, Futaba-chan! Anyways, you better get used to it fast. You can't be a fan of these if you're scared of people. I'll try my best! We're on a roll! Tama's been working really hard. But then there's Ryuji. It's like he doesn't have a care in the world. He's gonna get in trouble somewhere down the line if he keeps this up. I mean, yeah, probably. Uh, sure. She... Yeah, no, Futaba's doing really good. And quickly. Um, let's see. Who... Sojuro, then, probably. Alright, we'll hang out with Sojuro next time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press the like below. If you're not subscribed yet, Let's do 1 a.m. my video second, check out some of the content, see if it's your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. Hope you all have a great day.